Hello and welcome. Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers. I hope all of you are just fine and fantastic and you are passing your days in merriment and enjoying every bit of moment. From 20 Minute Online College platform, I have come again with episode number three and the name of the program, you can see it on the screen, scroll, Winning Over English. We are supposed to telecast the program at 8.30. Sorry for a little bit of delay because of technical tidbits. And we have found two guests today. The two guests are from Chittagong Cantonment English School and College, Taimum Ibn Said and Aisha Labiba. Both of them are our guests today in Winning Over English episode number three. I'd like to welcome both the guests. They are on, in the studio. Welcome, Salam Aisha, alaykum. and welcome, Tamim. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Taimum, brother. Wa alaikum, salam. So, you all know that we are from 20 Minute Online College platform, and this platform is basically a study oriented oriented platform uh, class online classes are conducted uh, through this platform side by side some programs are also telecast so winning over english is relatively a new program but in only in third episode uh, lots of students uh, are willing to come and talk about themselves, about their likings, dislikings, future plan, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, in this platform. This is a, a very encouraging sign for us. So, without any delay, I like to start. Start with Aisha. Please, Aisha, tell us something about yourself in short. Hi everyone. I am Aisha Labiba from Canterman English School and College. I'm in second year and studying in science group so other so i'm from chitagong at scandamining school and college and uh, so i'm very pleased to he be here in the in this live session winning over english i think it's a great initiative by 20 minute on online college and i'm pleased to have this opportunity to share my views over here today okay thank you so much now over to Taimum Ibn Said. Taimum, tell us something about yourself in brief. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Uh, at first, I'd like to thank you for having me on 20 Minute Online College on the episode of Winning Over English, episode number three. I am Muhammad Taimum Ibn Said from Chittagong, Bangladesh. I am presently studying in 12th grade at Cantonment English School and College. Presently, I'm the institution prefect and the president of debate club at Cantonment English School and College. I am also a present active member of Bangladesh National Cadet Corps and the founder of an organization called Rise for a Change, which is actively working against all sorts of gender violence in our country. And I am also associated with various other social platforms and corporate platforms as well. Thank you, sir. That will be from me. Okay. It's our pleasure that uh, you have been involved in so many activities. We'll talk about that a little bit later about your activities i like to know about those activities from you so now over to aisha you are in second year but your on uh, classes are not off offline that is on campus classes are not available right now but on online classes are going on how much do you enjoy the online classes uh, it won't be at a, as enjoyable as the offline classes as, as the classes we had in college, obviously. Uh, we obviously miss the college a lot and it is more effective when we are live. But I think it's a great alternative that at least we can continue our studies through these online classes. Though they aren't as effective, but at least we are just not sitting idle. We are having some opportunities and there are also some benefits and also some drawbacks of this. If I talk about the benefit, then obviously that if we miss a class, then we can get the notes also. We can record the class for later if you're not busy. If you're busy for some purposes, again, they're all obviously the drawbacks. Nothing will be comparable to the one we have in college, obviously. That is a different thing. But to cope up in this situation, these online classes are pretty good for that, I think. 
But you are enjoying the online exams very much, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, the online exams, uh, honestly, these aren't obviously aren't as strict as those which we are giving in the school in the exam hall. There is not that much tense and nervous. We are aren't that nervous. But <laughs> exams are never enjoyable, obviously. Uh, exams are always exams. <laughs> Okay, and I, I'm talking it from another yes, point of view because yeah, it, it has become almost an open yeah. book system. Okay, open book system. Yes, yes. If yeah, I were... yeah, obviously, this is, this is an edge. As you must know, we aren't that much nervous. We aren't like that much tensed about it, and most of them aren't even giving a hit. Those who are always uh, busy in studies, those who are always in studies, they're obviously paying head, but not all that is the drawback of this thing. Okay, if I were you, if I were you, I would have been, I uh, felt that uh, I, I was very lucky in that situation giving the online exams. I would prefer online exams <laughs> in my <laughs> education career. And anyway, the same same thing. Uh, what about th uh, time home? What do, what do you think? Missing the friend, missing your friends, classmates, uh, your campus, debating. You have mentioned that you are uh, doing debate, debating and also uh, cadet activities, uh, BNCC perhaps it is. So yes. how, how do you pass your Sir, time now? Yes. So firstly, uh, yes, that's very true. I'm very much missing my college and, the, and my friends. Uh, one more thing to add is uh, 2020 was supposed to be our last academic year in Canterbury School and College as we were in second year and we were supposed to attend HSC in 2021. So technically that would have been our last year if Corona didn't strike back then. So yeah, that year had a special place in our hearts. We had different plans. We would have had different plans on academics. We had plans on study tours. We had plans on organizing unions and other programs where the friends would get together, serve some memories so that in the future we don't know what happens to everyone. Who, uh, someone will go abroad, someone will study in Rajshahi, someone will study in Chittagong, someone will study in Dhaka. So we will be parted out from our 12 years of school journey. Canterbury English School and College has been a very special part for me because I have completing my 12 years of study staying in here. So obviously Canterbury English School and College has a very special place in my heart. Coming to online classes, yes, I do enjoy online classes to an extent because I don't have to wake up that much early and go to school like two to three hours before get ready, dress up and everything. Online classes is someone, uh, somewhat fun if you can consider it because everyone needs to get the touch of digitalization like other countries are getting, but Bangladesh was lagging behind it. So to me, that online class is adding a slight touch to the teachers, slight touch to the students who are not that much integrated with technology. So they are getting a hint of technology, like how things are working, how things are working in foreign countries, how people are uh, advancing towards technology. So online classes are kind of a boost up to what we are already doing, but side by side, nothing is comparison. Nothing will be compared to the physical classes because we enjoy the most. We can interact with the professors, we can interact with our friends, have fun on tiffin breaks, have fun on games period. So yeah, that's it. And the last thing to add the online exams part, yeah. Uh, to me, if I wasn't an HSC candidate, uh, I would prefer online exams over anything else because yeah, there are scopes to like give the exams easily. Moreover, if even if you don't cheat, there is scope that we have to just tick mark all the MCQs, type on the computers, then that's more easier for us. But if you consider on physical aspects, there would have been a hard job on us. So I do prefer online exams, but being an HSC candidate, being the struggle we are going through, I won't prefer them right now. I would prefer giving physical exams so that my curricular activities can be at a boost up too. Okay, very well said, Taibo. Thank you very much. Now, you are talking about friends, you are missing your friends, and friendship has a great value in our life. But sometimes people think that uh, some friendship are not as attractive as or cannot be considered uh, very effective in our life. Some friendship can um, uh, destroy our life, ruin our lives, etc. So my question to you, Taimum, uh, how would you rate friendship? Because at, uh, nowadays uh, people have started to say that, some people actually started to say that uh, co-education 
is not a very uh, good thing because girls and boys are studying together they are in the um, uh, they are in group studies and committing such and such things uh, from that context if i ask you how would you uh, rate uh, friendship or how much friends can go what is your idea how far uh, friends can question. go rather? okay uh, so to me to me personally friendship is a very sacred thing because without friends we are actually nothing because be it in our curricular activities be in the extracurricular activities or be in the co-curricular activities at every aspects of life we need our friends because our parents have grown up to an age where we can now depend on ourselves for our studies where we can depend on ourselves for other activities except for studies and the co-curricular and extracurricular activities which are equally important in our life as well so if I tell my, from my experience, friends have played a very important role in my life. Not all friends, but some friends. That's the technique. If you have a very big friend circle, you can't actually trust everyone with your personal information. You can't trust everyone with every sort of things that you are willing to. Choosing friends, uh, to me, choosing friends is more vital than becoming friends with anyone else. Because if you choose the right friends, your friends will direct you to the right path. Uh, for example, Aisha Laiva and I have been friends for so long. She and I were to be doing debate from for the last six years together. So I know how Aisha has helped me throughout the debate career. I know how she has helped me through studies. I know how she has helped me by giving notes when I was absenting classes. So yeah, that played a very big role in my life as well. Because I physically, a single person cannot single-handedly do everything else that combined a group of persons can do. But the main thing lies in there that when you choose a friend, you have to know how the friend will interact in your life. If you choose a friend who is already degraded, if you choose a friend who is not eager to help you at any stage of your life, that's for sure to be able to bring degradation in your life and that will surely bring degradation in your life. And uh, talking about the group studies, yeah, group studies is important, but the main thing lies in our mentality. If our mentality is correct, we will do everything in the right way. If our mentality is not correct, then be alone, good studies, be alone, friends. Even if you are not friends, I will do every sort of bad activity that comes in my mind if I have not my mentality in the correct way. So everything depends on the con uh, mentality and your character and whatever person you actually are, rather than blaming on group friends, rather than blaming on girls becoming friends with boys, boys becoming friends with girls. So that's my perspective. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you very much. That is the positive reflection of your uh, thinking. Now, Aisha, what do you, what is your point of view? How would you rate uh, friendship? That is friendship between a boy and a girl. So I Aisha, don't see there is any anything way? wrong between if yes, sir. I don't see there is anything wrong if you are friends with the people of the opposite gender. It just depends about your choices and whether the person is understanding you whether you get each other and you have to be always careful in choosing friends uh, if a person is degraded uh, you can encourage uh, him or her uh, in some ways because degraded person also needs someone to stay beside them but you have also but you also have to be careful about the things they have the negative negative sides they have so you can abstain yourselves from them you also have to have that that source of men mentality that i'm just helping this person out and if a person has bad intentions that uh, you just don't need to be friendly, they, they will find a way to do what they want. Just uh, it's obviously the per fault of the person who has this thing bad of the person has a bad intention. But while choosing friend, we also have to be a little bit serious. And I don't think we actually choose friends. We just uh, talk with person, just something matches and it just goes on. I think it just comes on naturally. For me, it came on naturally. We don't actually choose friends. Like I will make friend with this person, that person. Uh, I don't think someone chooses friends like that. So this is it. Exactly. I also agree with you. That is the friends, friends come naturally. You cannot choose it. But at yeah, times you have to be, you have to be selective at times isn't it anyway yeah, yeah. if your about... friend is doing the wrong you can support that that exactly. that time you have to know your choices you have yes. to have your moral compass right and then you can support your friend but you need your moral compass to be the right one okay so we are talking about uh, a relationship of friends now i like to uh, talk about relationship uh, that is another kind of relationship with the teachers, teacher-student relationship. 
that is your uh, talking point now uh, what kind of attitude do you want from your teachers aisha the teachers should be cooperative like uh, it is i think the teaching process is a two way process both the students and the teacher they will participate both teachers and students can make the mistakes both teacher and student will have some shortcomings and the teacher is always the experienced one uh, in what i will expect my teacher is to uh, understand me the problems i have and also to take the lo logic if i present something that is uh, some critical constructive criticism this should be within us there can be some things that the teacher is good at he knows these things or she knows these things but it will be better if i am if i receive the thing in this certain manner so i think the communication between the teacher it has to be smooth for a proper teaching method and the teacher should be and the teacher i expect my teacher to be cooperative understanding and have like to get the mindset what a student uh is supposed to have not all students have the same mindset it's actually a huge work to deal with a student with a class of 40 or 50 students different type of student so obviously the teacher has to be a patient one and understanding one and should allow constructive criticism and take opinions of all think of the majorities of the students and obviously see what the minorities are failing to do so that's what i want okay very good very good point but if you see that um, a teacher is like a boss like figure uh, you are trying so much to change him or her uh, from his or her position but you are not doing the thing you are not um, uh, preferring the thing now what would you do as a student how can you change the role of your teacher do you have any role or role playing what do you think aisha what i could do is i could try first say he there suppose he's giving me something to do i have to be at well with him and come to them and i'm also accepting what he is doing like he's giving me homework i'm i'm giving it in time something to impress him and to get him or her understand that i'm actually doing something i'm not just speaking to make him feel wrong or something i'm not doing that thing so i have to make him understand make him or her understand at first that okay i understand this important and i value your opinion i'm doing what you are saying but and gradually i will come to what you uh, i gradually i will bring up my opinion that maybe we can do this too and obviously we have to be well mannered while talking with the teacher that's sometimes not maintained so there's a term they say they get into uh, someone's shoe to understand what his point of view is so i think that what we should be at first we have to get in the shoe of that person and see the world in his or her perspective and understand where we could bring the changes how we could bring our opinion to him we could try and the rest is about his mentality and about his uh, consent okay very well said now what about Taimo, what do you think in the in that context, as we are discussing? Uh, so to me, teacher and uh, teacher and students relationship should be like friends, because when we are friends, we can share what we feel. We can share uh, anything with the teachers without any sort of diversification in our mind. Like if I was friends with some teacher, if I if my teacher was kind of strict with me, I couldn't have shared with him that sir, I didn't understand this specific topic. Can you please make me understand in a more better way? Because my mentality and the mentality of everyone else in the class is not the same. As Aisha stated, every student behaves differently in a different way. Everyone's mindset is not the same, and everyone's mentality works in the different ways. And everyone takes feedback negatively and positively both. But that's what humans are. Humans are a diverse human beings, and they have a diverse mindset as well. So, uh, to me, teachers should be uh, more of a friends because if teachers are friends with us, we can personally share what we feel. We can personally share what's bothering us. We can personally share what sort of difficulties we are facing in, in different subjects. What sort of difficulties we are facing in our personal lives? What sort of difficulties are we facing in our classes or any sorts of difficulties we are facing in our personal lives as well? So, teacher can help us out. To me personally, teachers have been a very big motivation in all in my life, throughout my school life and my college life as well. My teachers have been giving me the moral boost they are, that I already need every time needed. My teachers have been encouraging me to do extracurricular activities, co-curricular activities, except for even ex 
for doing the for curricular activities as well so teachers can play a very big role in your life if you can utilize the role perfectly because teachers are a blessing on our life as well because a teacher is well educated and well versed in every sector of life more than us more than our parents as well because they have dealt with a lot of adolescents and a lot of youngsters in their life so they know how the adolescents think they know how the youngsters think how their mindset goes on so when the teacher can feed that mindset so in our mind, I as a person or everyone as a person can go in a more peaceful manner, can go in a well-grown manner. And coming to the studies and other extracurricular activities, when a teacher inspires you, when a teacher tells that, yes, you can do it, yes, you have it in you, then everyone, because me, myself, also gets a moral boost in my mind that, yes, I can, yes, I can do it, and yes, I will do it someday. So. Okay, thank you so much. So, dear viewers, we are from 20 Minute Online College. A platform this session is a live session uh, from three spots it is being telecast live 20 minute online college facebook page 20 minute online college youtube channel and bskrbd so i request all of our viewers and audiences to subscribe 20 minute online college youtube channel and also give uh, a review at our page about your uh, likings whether you like it or not whether you like or dislike please give a review so that we can understand what should we do what should we do to uh, improve our activities so we are in a very interesting part of our session you are talking wonderfully and expressing yourselves the way you are expressing yourselves uh, it is really really very amazing because the name of the program you, you can see winning over english I, I can say that in the in that middle part of our program you have already won over the english or over english other now my question to taimu uh, how fluently uh, you are speaking I, I have become amazed is it because you are a, a, an english medium student so what will be your suggestion for the students who are very shy who doesn't want to speak in english they have a lot of things to express to tell but they cannot tell it in english what would be your suggestion as a student if you if i ask you guide your fellow friend who is not in english medium college or a school how would they start to talk in english what's your suggestion or tips if i say uh, sure sir so uh, the reason if i'm a single bit of good in English. That's because, firstly, I read in a academic school and college, a very known institution in English medium. So my teachers gave me the base that was necessary. Till class six, I was a very introvert guy. I couldn't speak properly, not even in Bangla, nor English, bit let alone English. So I was a very introvert guy. I couldn't speak properly. I couldn't look. Uh, I do eye contact with people properly and couldn't face them properly because I wasn't fluent in English. I didn't know. I didn't have enough vocabulary. I didn't have enough words in my stock. So till class six, uh, I was an introvert. So uh, from class six, I started doing debates. So debates helped me a lot in going to passing English. So when I used to do debate, my teachers or my mentors who were my seniors, they used to teach us different vocabularies, different kinds of researches. So when a debate competition was going on or would be held on, we had to take preparation prior to like one to two days. So we had to do extensive research. We had to find out exact vocabularies for to refrain some points of the opponents. We had to search for words which we didn't yet know. So we had also to search the meanings of the different words that we would find while doing our research. So that increased our vocabulary to a great extent. And when we used to speak on front of the stage, when you are speaking in front of a huge audience, you need to know that you need to know that you need to impress the audience as a whole because to win the debate, both the mentality of the audience and the mentality of the judges are necessary as well. So when you can win over the audience. You can win it over by contacting with them, by establishing a public relation with the audience. And that's very much important when it comes to debates. So when you are doing debates, when you are interacting with the people, when you are doing public speaking or any sorts of English language programs. So keep in mind that you need to interact with the audience. You need to uh, make the audience work for you in your own favor. So when you are working with the audience, you will personally get a boost up that yes, the audience is hearing me the audience wants to hear more so when you will get the vibe that the audience is hearing you the audience wants to hear more from you that will give you a moral boost inside of your own that you will give a spirit that yes i can do it i will do it so that comes on part of the english then 
when you are stumbling or when you are not uh, when you are thinking that yes no, i can't do english because i wasn't skilled enough i didn't read in english medium college like you trust me it's never too late to start when you are starting start off by watching movies we all watch movies right don't we so we do watch movies many of us read books even so i'll suggest you that if you are weak in english if you think that you can't do it trust me you can do it and you have to start right now right today don't uh, longer it because the later you start the later you will succeed the sooner you start the better you will succeed so start off by watching movies there are very much uh, various movies in which with english words out there there is various series there are various books start reading them one by one even if you read one or even if you like uh, spend 30 minutes of your time watching youtube like reality shows like the daily show with trevor noah the daily night show with jimmy fallon and everything else you will get to know that how they speak how the native americans speak how the native uk people speak then you will get a knowledge that yes this is how english works in their region and this is how they present themselves in front of an audience because in the present world if you need to survive if you need to survive well enough you need to be a good public speaker and if you want to be a good public speaker there's no way out except for learning english in a better and a well diverse way so that's what we my suggestion to you okay thank you these are very useful tips and suggestions i think now over to aisha what do you think if you i i uh tell you to prescribe the students or your friends to start speaking from tomorrow in english who are very shy in nature yeah first thing i think that's a problem that they have some lack of the confidence i think it's a huge part comes from the confidence we have within ourselves so you need to actually believe in yourself so you can start with small things like you can start with speaking to yours speaking to your friends like within the inner circle some of are like ashamed that they might be mocked or something if they have, if they go in front of a bigger audience and then they fail so you may start with small things with your with the people you have around yourselves and then you can go on a bigger floor and some things and as time prescribe different movies and different shows you can those shows can actually improve your knowledge too that that were Trevor Noah show the Jimmy Fallon show those shows can actually improve your knowledge too so these shows actually help us learn more vocabulary and be more fluent in english but for primaries obviously the first thing you need to do is you need to believe in yourself that you can do this thing so first thing i would do is encourage them to have the faith in themselves that they can do these things and if it is that the person is actually weak in english then obviously uh there should be some guides to be followed that we usually do and it's obviously a uh, luck for me it's uh, that i have been reading in an english medium school and for those of bangla medium i don't think actually it matters it's how much we believe in ourselves there is even people who does who fears to speak in bengali too it's not just about english so first step will be believing your your in yourself they should be encouraged and then these shows might help them in gaining vocabulary and thing is you need to start first you will fail and then uh, gradually you will be fluent so you have to have less fear and you need to start that's what i think okay thank you very much this is also a very good suggestion now tell me how, how is the program winning over english we are only in the third episode today with you we are just running this show uh, third episode uh how will it help the student aisha what do you think i think the students might have a view to what they might actually do like some of the questions we discussed are really very important like how we are enjoying the online exams the online classes then what about how can we communicate with the teachers and how can we win over english that's what we are talking about though this things like a funny conversations or like just a gossip but it's i think we were able to give some of the informations which which might come out handy at sometimes like we thought how can you communicate with your teachers you don't have to fear them then we talked that online exams yes they are free and you have to you can be carefree but you know here they just say for us as their exams when real exams will come we might fail in that and our curriculum is important so i think just like having fun and within this entertainment they are getting to know some things which might come handy in future okay thank you so in that context i also want to ask you one one question that is how will you rate 20 minute online college i think you have gone through this 
uh, the programs and uh, class activities. I hope so. How will you rate? Or if you have any suggestion, you can tell the 20 million online college should do these and that things, or those things for us, for the students especially. If you have any suggestion and any remark. I think it's doing great what they're doing. They're giving some videos, uh, which are really handy. The videos about different topics and then some career suggestions and all. I think the programs are pretty smooth and uh, what might they can do. Uh, I don't have actually that specifics of suggestions, but mm -hmm. this thing might include like uh, the topic we talk about, how can we be more cooperative about teachers? There can be some uh, bigger personnel who can talk about it. And then we are having a great change in our education system by the next two years, maybe. In, in two years maybe the college will come with three papers we may discuss about these things that how the teachers will cope up at that time and about the education about the things we are these are giving discussing about different topics uh, those can be in both languages uh, we may have subtitles sometimes and then there are going to be small videos some very short videos uh, about the basic things like we are especially doing elaborate videos. There can be very short videos with the basic things. These things we can do. Especially we can okay. give them the techniques of how to be a better student with the, uh, within just managing your stuff because college is usually a big thing here. Uh, broader syllabus compared to the schools and especially in English. Here's a huge difference in English of the schools and college section. Okay, very good suggestion. I think the best video would be uh, without studying, without doing anything. How can you get good marks and golden GPA five? <laughs> that will be the most. That will be the best video. I think the shortest and best one. So over to Taimu uh, about winning over English and uh, twenty minute online college. Sir, so, um, first of all, 20 Minute Online College, as far as I know, as far as I've been linked with the 20 Minute Online College for the past more than one month. So to me, 20 Minute Online College was very interesting at first because I have been a part of various online colleges like 10 Minute School and various other online platforms as well, where teachers give notes, where teachers give studies, even uh, Facebook pages where the Facebook pages of different schools like Ideal School, uh, Adamji Kandaman College. So their teacher come in they conduct online sessions. They give tips and tricks about how to do well in chemistry or let's say chemistry, organic chemistry and physics, Newtonian physics and different subjects, which are very much theoretical. But the problem with our country is we don't know the actual meaning of education. Education is not limited to your theoretical books and education is not limited to your theoretical knowledge that you have. Education is being a better human being, being at what you do already better in a way, being at the best you are and being the best out of yourself. So, when I uh, scrolled down through the 20 minute online college, to me it was very curious because I was seeing there were teachers conducting uh, colleges, different types of educational platforms. There were students who were being interviewed. There were uh, teachers who were giving notes on different subjects. Moreover, uh, the thing that interested me most is the career quest program. So that's the unique thing of 20 minute college that I never saw anywhere else that in career quest program we are getting to see various people who are already been succeeded in their own fields of knowledge, own fields of that so we do know that how they are being interviewed how we can talk with them how we can learn from them how their daily routine was how their actual day goes by what they did to reach that stage and for me when i am a student i need to have an aim to reach at a place when i will complete my studies so when if i get an idol from that side if i know that yes this person has reached the peak where i want to reach someday so yes i will follow his lifestyle i will take some suggestions from him that he had uh, did some mistakes in our life so that i don't stumble in my way to success and yes that's what interests me about 20 minute college is even if it's an online platform it is changing the definition of education not really only theoretical knowledge but also giving us a practical knowledge that we very much need as a human being not only as a student because at first we are human beings then we are students that's how i did okay thank you very much and um <clears throat> you have already mentioned that you are very fond of debates and you are doing debates and debates have changed a lot if i uh, use the word revolutionary change as time was uh, telling that from class six uh, uh, or before class six 
he was a bit shy but after class 6 starting debate and he, he has become a completely changed person now apart from debates what other extracurricular activities or games and sports you like time uh, so to me if i'm a considered as a student uh, during the class time or during the class period i do more extracurricular activities than the curricular activities itself because i do enjoy what i already enjoy doing because Yes, I do enjoy studying. Uh, to me, study is kind of enjoying if you can take it as an enjoying part. Because when we are take, uh, let's for example say chemical reactions. How does a chemical reaction actually work? How does a glass cleaner actually clean something? How does a toilet cleaner actually clean the toilets? So when we are getting to know what components are in there, how do they actually work? That becomes interesting to us as well. But if you take the chemistry or the physics or say ICT as something that you need to learn, you need to feed your mind the knowledges that are in the theoretical books, that will be a different level of education to you. But to me, when I take education in a more uh, exemplary manner, when I have the mood to study, I study. When I have the mood to do extracurricular activities, I freely do that. So if you ask me about the extracurricular activities I do, firstly, debating is a very major part of my extracurricular activities that I do. And as I say, the class six, from class six, I started doing debates. Actually from class four, I was doing debate courses. Class six, I got the chance to speak in the very first debate of mine. So, apart from doing debates, I also do public speaking, I do AI presentations. I also, uh, as I said, I'm an active member of Bangladesh National Cadet Corps. Presently, I'm serving as an ambassador of Bangladesh National Cadet Corps, as a national ambassador there. And moreover, I have been linked with various social organizations like uh, Punoto Foundation, like Youth Wave Student Society, Youth Voice. And apart from the curricular activities in school, I do play chess. I have been playing chess at district level for a long time. I also play volleyball. I enjoy cricket a lot, although I'm not that much good at cricket or physical sports. All I do is the indoor sports like table tennis, chess, debates, public speakings, air representations, and all those interior activities that you will find. I'll try my best shot at doing everything because practicing or participating is the main thing. Because if I never spoke in a debate council myself, I would have never found myself in such a state where I'll be speaking in front of such a huge audience. So yeah. I do give my best shot at everything I do. I do everything which I can, which I get the scope of doing. Because being reading in Catherine English School and Colleges, a military one institution, I personally got very much extracurricular activities from my teachers because my college provides me with a lot of facilities that I think very few colleges actually provide the students. So when I get the opportunity, I try my best to grasp the opportunity and to exemplify the opportunity on the basis of how I want it, not how the opportunity wants me to define itself as. So yeah. That's my extracurricular activities and the extracurricular activities that I'm related to. Okay, thanks. Now, do you watch cricket? You don't play cricket so much. Do you watch cricket, Taimu? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, funny thing is, uh, when I was a child, I had uh, very much fond of cricket. So I used to tell my mother, mother, that I'll someday become like Sakib Al Hasan, the top cricketer of Bangladesh, because seeing them hold the national flag every they are winning a match, seeing them hitting a six and the audience going crazy over them, seeing me and my family enjoying the time watching cricket with every single family member of ours, when the World Cups were going on, when the Asia Cups were going on, being fulfilled with, fulfilled with emotions, the ability to drive the emotions of thousands and millions of people with a single stroke of your bat, single stroke of your ball, is really an amazing tune to me. So when I was a child, I had already fantasized that I'll someday become a cricketer, I'll someday actually be the cricketer, so I used to practice cricket a lot. I, I am still very much fond of cricket, although I still don't get the time to watch cricket that often due to HSC and all the coachings that we have to go through. But yes, I still watch cricket and I always love it. And if you ask me, my favorite player, my favorite place has always been Mashabi Mordoza for the kind of his dedication that he's giving to the country and for his performance as well. Okay. And in Australia, in Gabba ground today, there was a very exciting fourth test match between India and Australia. Today was the last day. Have you seen it or know the result of the match? Time move. No. Uh, no, sir. Actually, no. I was today taking preparations for this interview. So I was actually kind of nervous how I'll face the audience or talk with them. But right now, I'm kind of enjoying it as we are more of uh, in a gossiping situation rather than taking interview session. So, yeah. I couldn't watch okay. I, I, I can't see any kind of nervousness over your face. But today's match was very exciting because India beat Australia in Australia 2-1. That is a four-test match series and India won the match. 
by three wickets and chasing 337 runs this this has become a record also a very exciting finish at the end in the gaba ground in australia now over to aisha uh, what about you apart from debate to what other activities extracurricular other activities you take part uh, debate is the main one uh, i also participate in recitations like poem poem recitations and public speakings beside uh, the other ones i just do participate not a great one at those i try to participate in things i actually have in fun like i participate in art competitions then in um, then like i i have done taekwondo courses for after the ssc though i couldn't continue with it because of the hsc thing and then i I also participated in different types of games and sports in in those which were in our school in the different types of at athletics which I can do like non-stop skipping and these things and usually I'm also into AC competitions a lot so when any programs comes in the school like one way or another I just get involved in whatever I can do at least or something it just i it's not i have to be a great one at that i just go for it and do what i can I use my talents in which way i can do it so here's what i do and debate is obviously the most important part of my okay. extracurricular activities this okay thank you so much uh, now would you please recite some lines of any poems as you also love recitation or reciting would you please Okay, so here I have come with a poem. Uh, the the name of the poet is not known. It's just from the internet. The name of the poem is "Live a Life That Matters." It actually gives you a view into the life that how we should actually go through it. So here I'm reciting it. Ready or not, someday all of it will come to an end. There will be no more sunrises, sunset minutes hours or days all the things you collected whether treasured or forgotten will come to an end your wealth fame temporal power will shrivel to irrelevance it will not matter what you owned it don't matter whether you are beautiful or brilliant anything will matter so what will matter what will matter is not what you bought but what you have built. What will matter is not what you got, but what you gave. What will matter is not your success, but your significance, not your competence, but your character. What will matter is every act of integrity, compassion, courage that encouraged other peoples to emulate your example. What will matter is not how many people you knew, what will matter is how many will feel a lasting loss when you won't be there. What will matter is not your memories, but the memories that live on those who loved you. What will matter is not what you learn. What will matter is what you taught. What will matter is how long you will remember and for what you will be remembered. Living a life that matters doesn't happen by a chance, doesn't happen by an accident. It happens by your choice. Thank you. Very nice recitation. Apart from the uh, recitation point of view, the content and the point of view of the poem is very, very significant. Uh, the integrity and character, these are the things that have come out very wonderfully. And we all know that life will end at some part, uh, some point, uh, somebody will go today, somebody will go tomorrow. This is the order of the day. Now, um, we are at the end of our session. Uh, before we leave, i like to ask you two more questions. Uh, first of all, to Taimu, about your future plan. This is a very common question of winning over English. What is your future plan? Uh, sir. So uh, if you if I was asked about my future plan, everyone has a plan, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the plan is everything on my future path. The plan might diverse in its way when it places stumbles, the plan might diverse in its way when it's supposed to according to the necessary situations. So 
presently, I'm planning to pass HSC with a good result. After passing HSC, um, I myself will apply to different universities, different top-notch universities outside, outside of the country, universities which are top-notch in the uh, curriculum I want. To me, I want to graduate in computer science from a top-notch university after finishing my studies of HSC here. And if I get a chance to study in a top-notch university in my dream university, my dream university is University of British Columbia of Canada. So I'm going to try my best shot at getting into there in the computer science program. So after that, graduating from there, I'll try my best to get uh, myself integrated with a tech giant company and someday might start a company myself for the people here to make technology uh, better for everyone in this country. Because uh, to me, my current aim is I'm seeing that various rural people, various people aren't much integrated with technology. And that's what the main reason that's keeping us, pulling us behind from the rest of the world. So I want to establish a system where technology doesn't get better, but technology gets better in reaching people of all sectors, not reaching to me, not reaching to you, but reaching to those poor people, reaching to those rural people who are actually in need of the modernization that the Bangladesh is uh, demanding. Because as Rokia Shakawatasin said, you can't pull a cow if the, uh, if the two legs are broken. So we all need all the four legs, or we all need all the organs of our body to work properly or to do any activities properly. So yeah. My aim should, would be someday in the future to integrate such a system that technology reaches to all the people in a better way than it is reaching now. Okay, we also hope that you win lots of lots of laurels in your life and your future uh, prospers. We hope so. Now, what to Aisha? Uh, please tell us something about your future plan, about your career, etc. So, my future plan, it may change as here is a uh, whole big chances and there the world of career is now a lot diversified but till now uh at first i have to go through the hsc with a good result and then i would love to go out in a university abroad here in top notch university uh now for now my plan is to be a human right ad advocate there are different types of subjects which are giving an insight to this thing the to become a human right advocate so i have to do a lot of research to finally decide on which subject i will be studying so uh the reason behind being a human rights advocate is that now I feel like the generosity and everything has increased up to a level and many people are now deprived and we don't have accountability and trust transparency to much extent. So I want to make a difference in the life of the people as much as I can being an advocate of these things and bringing an end to some of the laws which are actually not signifying the equity we say that we are equal and all so i hope to be a human rights advocate and make differences a bigger difference and especially in bangladesh too okay thank you very much this is a very noble mission noble future plan uh, so thank you very much. We like to thank uh, so many people behind behind the screen who are working. We like to thank them especially uh, Zia Rahman, assistant professor of Fabsa Public School and College, uh, who is doing a lot behind the screen. He's the mastermind of Twenty Minute Online College platform is doing a lot, a lot. So thanks uh, to him. And we also like to thank our sponsor. That is our motivational sponsor. We call in that way inspirational sponsor not the monetary sponsor a babuni a food and gourmet company uh, in canada uh, canada and america in canada and america uh, they uh, supply the food products like olive oil and vinegar etc 24 uh, five food items actually they uh, supply and in bangladesh in future the products of babuni will come and I like to a little bit about Babuni. Babuni was also uh, a name of a boy who died of cancer uh, while he was studying in college, in Chitong University College. Uh, his nickname was Babuni and his full name was Onurub Thor. His elder brother who went to Canada and made this company in his name. Uh, that's the name of the company. He has so many uh, visions, dreams. He wanted to be a doctor. He was also a brilliant boy in class. He was the first boy 
and he also participated in lots of extracurricular activities. He played cricket well. I personally know him uh, from Chittagong University campus. Uh, so thanks a lot to Babuni for supporting us. And uh, now. Concluding remarks from Aisha. Parting remarks. Tell us something uh, for the audience. Can you hear me, Aisha? Can you please repeat? I couldn't get. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you uh, please repeat the, the last line? Sure, sure, asked? sure. Okay. The final comment or uh, parting remark from you. Okay, so now? first I would like to thank obviously the 20 minute online college for airing. Yes, yes, sir. First, I would, I would like to thank the 20 minute online college for this arrangements for this amazing program winning over English. And uh, I hope that they will conduct more sessions like this, which will enable, enable the communication of the students and teachers and which will give everyone a better view uh, of the education and the education system and i hope everyone will be doing well and put and be safe through all these things that are going on and uh, keep their families and friends safe and above all help each other in ways we can so that's it I uh, hope everyone will be doing well and hope we will be more sincere about our studies for the students and we will have more great sessions from this. We expect that 20 Minute Online College will come with more amazing sessions like this one. So thanks to everyone and hope everyone will be safe and healthy. Well, thank you very much for coming to the session. Now over to Taimum, your final comment. Uh, so at first, I would like to thank M. Dad, sir, Zia, sir, and Mina, sir, for choosing me or giving me the chance to present myself in front of an audience of 10,000 people. It's really an honor. It's really an honor from my side to be here. And it was a very much pleasing experience to speak with you on this platform. Because at first, as I said, I was very much nervous about what I will do, what I will, how I'll face the audience, whatever questions I'm going to be asked. But presently, as I said, I'm already enjoying the session. As the session is about to end, it's kind of sad that it's ending. I actually enjoyed the session throughout the whole time because it was more kind of knowing each other how we are doing. So I'd like to thank 20 Minute Online College for ending such a session, the beginning of our English session, where we are we can get the chance to interact with people, various people, know about their mind, mindset, know about what they did, how they are doing in their activity. These subjects and same the case with me. When I okay, there is a watch the previous two episodes of uh, Winning Over English. Yes, there is a little bit of disruption because of the perhaps because of the internet and activities out there for me as well. So, is our can also be vocal on our language, and we are also heard in this platform. So thank you, sir, for having us on this show. So thank you very much. Thanks a lot to both of you. And we hope to bring you again in this session or in some other program also. You know that a new program has started. Uh, the first episode has been completed. That is Future Leader. I also uh, like to uh, give invit invitation to both of you in the program Future Leader. I hope you will join there. So dear viewers who are with us uh, for supporting us and uh, encouraging, I should say, our students who are speaking so fluently, so brilliant. They, I, I particularly became very amazed at their depth of thinking, the way they are thinking, the way they are presenting themselves, reflection about life, and even the selection of the poem, the poem Aisha selected, that was a wonderful poem. If you go through the uh, poem, you will see that there are so many hidden things for our life, so many hidden suggestions for our life uh, there. And 
uh, people have started to giving comments and so some comments are there uh, we are actually running out of time so thanks a lot those who are giving comments and stay with 20 minute online college stay safe and sound in this pandemic situation uh, we wish that this situation uh, we will be able to overcome very soon and we will enjoy or lead our normal lives thanks a lot hope to see you again uh, in winning over english episode number four on 2nd february it will be our episode number four so thanks a lot good night